It is my privilege and blessing to be able to come into your life through social media today to try to encourage you uh, in these uh, days of pandemic and COVID-19 and coronavirus, uh, the different situations that are going on in America today with the uh, riots and the unrest politically, uh, an election year happening, and so many, so many changes, so many questions, so many challenges today. And I'm convinced that the best place to get encouragement is the Word of God. God has given us His Word, His promises, His truths that are eternal, that never, ever change. Heaven and earth shall pass away, Jesus said, but my word shall remain forever. And so today, we're going to be looking at John chapter 10. John chapter 10, if you want to open up your Bible or take time to read this chapter later. As we've been talking about Jehovah, the great I Am, that's the name that's used over 6,800 times in the Bible to describe and help us understand the characteristics, the attributes, and the personality of our God. He shows up personally for His people to say, I love you, I care for you, and I want to help you. And then Jesus, when He shows up in uh, John chapter 1, He is the living Word that becomes flesh and dwells among amongst us. And John, his disciple, had three and a half years to be with him, to shadow him, to walk with him, to follow him, to be right there and watch his miracles and see what he did. And then the Holy Spirit leads the Apostle John to write the great gospel of John, the universal gospel that gives us so many understandings, gives us so much understanding of who Jesus really is. He is indeed the Son of God. He is the great I am. He is the complete, total, absolute fulfillment of Yahweh, Jehovah. I am that I am. Well, there are seven I am's in the Gospel of John. We've been studying them. I am the bread of life in John 6. I am the light of the world in John 9. I am the door in John uh, 10. And in John 10, when we looked at that yesterday, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. This was given during a discourse that Jesus was given right after the blind man who had been healed in John 9, and Jesus says, I'm the light of the world, after he had been kicked out of the synagogue and he had uh, been rejected, he had been pushed out of the cultural, the religious society of his day. The Pharisees, the Jews, the, the hypocrites, they pushed him aside because he believed in Jesus, even though he really didn't know all that much about Jesus. Once I was blind, but now I see, he changed my life. And my friend, when Jesus comes into your life, he is the light of your life. He transforms you from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. Hallelujah. I mean, what can you say? And then he shows up for this blind man and says, hey, you know what? I am the shepherd of the sheep. I, I come in through the door. Uh, a thief comes in another way. And in verse 10, the thief has come to steal, to kill and destroy. But Jesus says, I've come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Oh, we know that verse. But the very next verse, is John 10, 11. And Jesus then says, I am the good shepherd. Now, today in our uh, urban and um, in our urban, our urban culture, and we don't really grow up on the farm with the sheep and the cows and the pigs and the chickens and all that anymore, so many of us, but uh, we don't totally understand what would, that would mean when Jesus said, I'm the good shepherd. But I guarantee you, in the day that this blind man lived, in the days of Christ 2,000 years ago, those folks knew what it meant. I am the good shepherd. And, uh, and so we see in the same passage of Scripture, I am the door in verse 9, and then in verse 11, I am the good shepherd. We're going to be talking about that the next couple of days because Jesus not only meets your spiritual needs in the deepest fulfillment of your life as the bread of life, He not only opens your eyes to see, He comes and says, I'm the door. You want salvation? I am the way that you find that salvation. Today, would you open up your heart and just say, Lord, open up my eyes, open up my heart, open up my eyes to see Jesus, to see who He really is, that I might get to know Him intimately and personally, the great I am, Jehovah. God bless you today as you trust Him.